The profound power of the first kiss after 50. Welcome back to our little corner of the internet. Today, we're diving deep into a topic close to the heart. Quite literally, the first kiss. But hold on to your hats because we're putting a spin on it. We're talking about that exhilarating moment when sparks fly but with a twist. We're exploring what happens when you return to the dating game after 50. So, grab your favorite snack, get cozy, and let's unpack the magic. Alright, folks, let's paint a picture. You've reached the golden age of 50, and guess what? You're still rocking it. You're out there, living your best life and ready to dip your toes back into the dating pool. Maybe you've been single for a while. Or you're starting fresh after a long, fulfilling relationship. Regardless, that heart-pounding excitement and nervous anticipation of a first kiss. Yeah, it's still very much alive and kicking. But hold the phone. Why does that first lip lock feel like a whirlwind of emotions? Especially when you're a bit more seasoned? Prepare for the inside scoop because we're about to unravel the mystery. Number 1. The Scientific Spark Imagine this. You're on a date, the chemistry is electric. And then it happens the moment you've been waiting for. Your lips meet theirs, and boom! It's like a burst of confetti exploding in your heart. But what's going on behind the scenes? Cue the science stuff. When you lock lips with that special someone, your brain goes into overdrive. Unleashing a magical concoction of feel-good chemicals, like dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. It's like winning the love lottery and hitting the jackpot simultaneously. This dizzying neurochemical rush isn't just confined to dewy-eyed teens either. Research shows that even in our wise, experienced years, a new romantic spark can reactivate those same neural pathways and flood us with intense feelings of pleasure, desire and attachment. Pretty neat? Number 2, more than just chemistry. But here's the plot twist. When you're back in the dating game after 50, that first kiss isn't just about butterflies and rainbows. It's about rediscovering yourself, embracing new adventures, and even conquering old demons. Picture this. By the time you hit the big 5-0, you've racked up a treasure trove of life experiences. You've loved deeply, weathered storms, and emerged stronger and wiser on the other side. So when you lean in for that first smooch, it's not just about the present moment. It's a celebration of resilience and the courage to love again. Unlike those carefree teenage years, a first kiss after 50 often carries deeper meaning and more profound implications. Perhaps you're rebounding from divorce or the loss of a partner. Or you're finally allowing yourself to experience love outside strict cultural expectations. Whatever your journey, that electrifying lip lock can represent. A poignant return to hope, passion, and possibility. Number 3. The courage to start anew. Let's keep it accurate, though. Dating after 50 is only sometimes a walk in the park. Sure, you've got wisdom and confidence in spades, but hurdles still exist. Here are a few tips to help you navigate the dating scene with ease. From navigating the wild world of online dating to dodging pesky societal stereotypes, it's a brave new ball game out there. First, there's the vulnerability factor. 
After decades of living, you've inevitably experienced heartbreak and disappointment. Are you letting your guard down and opening yourself up to potential pain? Yeah, that takes guts. Those old wounds can feel closer to the surface. Then there are the dizzying mechanics of modern romance. From swiping on dating apps to deciphering flirty emojis. It's a romantic renaissance unlike before. You may feel gloriously liberated yet slightly bewildered by the new codes of courtship. But fret not, my fellow warriors. With a sprinkle of humor, a dollop of patience, and a whole heap of self-love. You'll tackle the new dating frontier like a seasoned pro. That youthful effervescence and enthusiasm for life is still in you. Age cannot diminish personal growth and reawakening. Number 4, a new pathway to joy. At the end of the day, whether you're 18 or 80, the first kiss is a beautiful rite of passage. A timeless experience that transcends age. It's Mother Nature's sweet signal that new possibilities await that the heart remains forever young. Yet that first intoxicating embrace carries even richer meaning. For those who rediscover romance after 50. It's a gentle reminder that love knows no boundaries or expiration dates. And that every chapter of life is worth embracing with an open heart and endless courage. So keep putting yourself out there. Keep swiping right on life and new adventures. Whether that first magical kiss comes from a blind date, a reconnected friendship, or a chance encounter at the local cafe, it will always be a sublime reminder. You've got this. You're still fully alive and gloriously vibrant within this mysterious journey called life. And there you have it. Folks, the first kiss after 50, a poetic tapestry woven with laughter, love, resilience, and maybe a few cringeworthy moments. The path may meander, but what are the rewards of opening oneself to new love? Utterly priceless. Thanks for hanging out with us, and until next time. Keep spreading those good vibes and chasing that sweet, sweet romance at any age. Who's brave enough to pucker up?